So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate just how easy it is to use the uh, new Groove Glove from the T-Scan integration with Garage Hive. So uh, this video is about a minute long, which is how long the entire process takes. Uh, you start by taking a picture of the vehicle registration using the device, and it has VRM lockup feature. Uh, you then work your way around the car. You get to very briefly see what color pants I'm wearing there. But you get to, a, essentially, you work around the car, scanning each tire. Uh, each tire takes about uh, between five and 10 seconds. There is a bit of a knack to it, so you do, you do get the hang of scanning tires. Um, but what the system's doing is it's essentially just taking a read of all the treads that are cut to full depth uh, and understanding what the tread depth is across the whole width of the tire uh, and then trying to spot any unusual wear patterns. Once you've scanned all four tires, uh, you very quickly see here just what the results are. Uh, and then you basically submit it to um, Garage Hive. So if we go ahead and have a look at what's in Garage Hive now. First of all, the system produces a PDF. So this is the PDF system that T-Scan produce. This is on the T-Scan system. Um, but where the integration really works is the fact that this just works with your existing process. So if you're used to using Garage Hive's inspection process, this should feel incredibly natural and it should actually improve and add consistency across your business when um, you're doing tire checks. So we have a quick look at what the results are. This is for a different vehicle. Those that I've spotted, this isn't the same car that I scanned. This one's got a bit more going on. Um, so this is, a, this is a real tire scan from one of our branches. And you can see that it's got two yellow tires, one green and one red. It's possibly recommending wheel alignment. And because one or more tires need replacement, rotation is not recommended. And it's advising that the new tire should be placed on the rear of the vehicle. You get a nice graphic of the braking distance. So you can see the increase in braking distance because these tires are worn. And then you get the cross section of each tire. So front left, front right, rear left, rear right. And what's quite clever is that based on some form of AI, the system understands that certain tread wear patterns mean certain things. So it can detect whether there's uh, potentially tire pressure issues. Um, whether it suspects the suspension issues, which is why it could be recommending alignment, etc. And then it just gives a bit of narrative as to how you could explain things to your customers. So, you know, when, when tires are down to a sort of three and a half mil, we wouldn't necessarily recommend the customer gets them changed, but they just need to be cautious in, let's say, wet or snow weather, for example. So that's what the system produces. Um, and then let's just take a look at how the integration is working. So in Garage Hive, there's a new table called Tire Scan Entries, and this is real data from a few of our branches. We've been using the scanner now for a couple of weeks. And essentially, you get the registration, which is linked to the vehicle number, and each scanner has its own unique ID. You can open the reports from here, so that PDF report I just showed you, you can access directly from the screen. And then if the checklist, if the PDF, sorry, has been used on a checklist, you'll then get the checklist connection and it's at that point it knows which location the scan was done at. So all this is doing is gathering data for the Power BI analysis. Moving on to some of the other columns, you can see the total tires scanned, the average tread depth, satisfactory advisory and urgent tires, and then there are some additional columns such as uh, alignments recommended, etc. So I'm gonna show you now what the technician actually sees. So this is um, essentially the change to the technician process. So the good thing about this is it can be done either at the start of the day, before the technician does the inspection, the checklist, sorry, they can, you can have a, a junior tech or even a front of house actually doing the tire scan. Um, or in Lindley's, our process is as the technician is doing their checklist, they will then do their own tire scan. But it's up to you however you want to implement the process into your business. But essentially what a technician will do is they'll do their inspection as normal. And previously where they will type in the information here or they would use the text templates they just select in the menu, get tire scan. And then what Garage Hive will then do is it'll go look at the tire scan entries and see if there are any unused tire scans with that vehicle registration. And if they are, if there are, then it will just apply it straight to this checklist. If there are no unused ones or there are multiples of scans, then your technician gets to choose which one to use. Once they've selected get tire scan, then this information here is populated so you can see it adds the tread depth it selects the urgency whether it's red or amber or green 
And what's also cool is we'll also detect whether it requires wheel alignment based on what the information the tire scan has said as well. So in this case, front tires are on the edge. Wheel alignment is recommended to increase the longevity of the tires. So all of this information you see here is completely automated, obviously apart from the tire inflation kit has expired. That's still manually done by the techs. But the rest of it is all done directly from the tire scan itself. Now all this data is then collected and then sent to Power BI. So this is a, a quick snapshot of one of the brand, one of our branches that we implemented this into a couple of weeks ago. So they're still finding the feet, they're still getting used to it, there's still lots of testing going on. Um, but what you essentially you can see from the Power BI reports is how many scans are done per day compared to how many checklists are done per day. So we're trying to implement this and it's important that the number of scans matches the number of checklists or there or thereabouts, which should match the number of jobs. Uh, you then get to see the total tires that you've scanned uh, the average tread depth, which we, we we had the ability to add. I'm not sure how much use that is yet, but it's quite an interesting piece of data, especially when you're comparing uh, branch to branch. And then it starts getting into the important stuff. So of the urgent tires, how many of those were sold? Because previously you'd understand how many inspections were done by a technician and how many estimates were created. Well, now you have the information of knowing exactly how many tires are sold from those that are either urgent or advisory. And then you can see the tire revenue. So this is real data. I'm still collecting the data, but it, it seems to be um, very, very promising. And then moving on, we've got alignments required and alignments sold. And then the total alignment sales. Now it's important to note that this sales information here is based on VI estimates, not the overall sold. So if, if it's booked in for a tire or it's booked in for an alignment, it won't show on this report. The only thing that shows on this report is any of the additional work that's been captured as a result of these tire scans. We can then, if we want to, uh, look at weekly and monthly, which you're all used to, and then we can look at technician as well, for example. So we can go down to individual techs and just see which technicians are, are embracing this. And then you get your overall data. So at this branch, 41% of vehicles require alignment, and 15% um, we would recommend that they get the tires done, and another 15% we would advise them just to keep your eye on your tire and just consider that within the next year or so you may need it changing. Uh, so this is just a very brief overview from the uh, start to the finish of how this feature works. There'll be a more in-depth video on how you set this feature up once you've got your device because there is a bit of setup to do. Um, but so far it seems like a, for us anyway, it's, a, it's working brilliantly. It's improving the process across the branches and it means that we're now aware of any opportunities that we're actually missing, which can then um, aid with any training we need to give the front of house staff. If you've got any questions, please put them in the community. Thank you.